job. You guys are, you guys are busting butt. I know you're sweating hard. Um, again, I'm trying to cram really two sessions in at once, so I know the pace is a little bit faster than I usually uh, have here at camp, and you guys are, are definitely holding up your end of the bargain. Um, let's go over a butt slide, all right? A lot of people call it a boot scoop, we call it a butt slide. I almost want you guys to think of it as a butt bounce. Because when, I, when you guys hear the word slide, you think of it like a baseball slide, you're sliding the whole plate, and that's not it, all right? A butt slide to me is basically a high crotch, but I'm going one step lower, all right? Same application, a lot of pressure provided by the opponent coming in, I have a drastic level change, and I'm dropping, all right? On my high crotch, I did this, all right? On my butt slide, I'm doing this, all right? Same basic motion, all right? I'm not going into him, I'm going down, He's falling over top. With the high crotch, I got his arm to fall over top. Here I'm trying to get both arms. I'm getting to put his pressure on his hands. Here's where the application is, all right? We're low. I might be too low to actually get to a high crotch uh, heels. We could be this low here. Um, you're wrestling a little 106 pounder, all right? You're wrestling a short guy like me, Koyo Zayas, where's he at? You're wrestling Koi, he's got this low stance. I can't even get a high crotch from here. All right, so I'm gonna take it one step farther and I'm gonna pull my right hand on the mat and now I'm gonna throw with my left arm. I'm pulling his right elbow over top and I'm dropping to my right butt cheek. I go to like half of the hurdler stretch here. Notice when I do this, I'm still in my stance, all right, in the sense that my chest is over my thigh. I'm able to move, all right? I'm not extended. I'm not looking like this, leaning back, legs straight. I'm here, all right, and I can move. When we do this, it's gonna be very quick. I'm gonna bounce. Go from here to there. I don't stay on that butt, all right? I move, and the only thing that's hitting is my right butt cheek, all right? I'm not going to both. I'm not going from here, sit out, all right? That's not it. I want to get his weight to fall over top. He's got pressure into me. I have a little bit of pressure into him. When I drop down, he falls over top. That's the basic principle of the move, okay? Now, some of you guys are saying, Coach, I can't hit that, but well, that's not me. Hey, it, to be honest with you, it's not me. All right, it's not something I really used. But you know what, you need to know it so he doesn't hit it on you. So you know what, when you're wrestling a guy that's down in that position and you pressure in, it doesn't get hit on you. You should be well versed in wrestling technique even if you don't do them all, all right? So you're prepared to defend him. Um, let's go from that double elbow bind again. And the partner's gonna pressure into us. We're gonna have that head in the pocket and I'll break it down again slow by steps. From here, we're going to post our right hand on the mat. As I do this, I'm going to throw with my left arm. I'm going to go to my right butt cheek. My legs are going to sit out to the side. We go from here to here. Now notice, I'm still in a decent position. All right, he fell over top. I'm going to move into him here. I can either drive to the head outside single or I can just possibly spin right around. Uh, let me see Mick and Sire. Double elbow bind, butt slide. Mick's got a really good butt slide. Double elbow on the left side. Notice, he throws, drops, and pulls. All right? Good side. Nick, double elbow behind butt side. Heads in the pocket. Good. Post that hand. He went to, he posted his left hand. Side to close to his right hand. Good. Nick. Good. Side. Hey, the biggest mistake you guys are going to make on this, or the biggest inhibitor, is fear. You are afraid to drop level. You're afraid to go from here to there. You're afraid of that. Understandably. Anytime I go underneath a guy, it's a, it's a risk. It's a chance I can get scored on. I get that. The only way you get over that fear is by drilling it over and over and over again and having success. If you don't have success with the technique ever, you're going to be afraid. That could be a slide by you'd be afraid to hit it. All right? The way we get successful, the way we overcome those fears is by hitting the technique over and over and over again, all right? In here, do your best to be a good partner, to make the guy feel successful. I look at the defensive guy, I look at it as your job to help him learn the move. You are the most crucial uh, part in, in this process for learning, the defensive guy. Not me, not your counselors, the defensive guy, your drill partner, is the most crucial teaching tool this week. You have to give him the right feel and you have to give him the right reaction. When he does the butt slide, you have that pressure in, I want your weight to go to your hands so he can easily spin around and score. Help him learn. Don't fight him. 
Right? Don't try to have one up on him because you can do it and he can't help him learn to move. You should get a sense of satisf satisfaction when he does it right. All right? Help him out here. Double elbow bind, hand, butt, throw. Butt slide. Let's see it. One, two, three. 